Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to share, a full logo design start to finish project, you will see me, how I generate logo design ideas, how I sketching ideas into the paper, and lastly digitalize version by illustrator, so watch till the end of the video carefully, you are gonna learn a lot from this, so no more talk, let's jump into the video. So, I get an email from a client, named Kevin. After discuss about the project details, we agreed with the price 600 US dollars, then he share his project details. Company name, Wind Eagle. Company details, it is a courier service business like FedEx, he want a modern, minimalistic and professional logo design. And he asked me to use gradient color into the logo, so let's get started to find some inspiration from the web. I did four logo for this client, and the approved one was a combination of letter W and Eagle, so first let's search by Eagle and click images. You will see a bunch of real Eagle image here, which will be so helpful to get inspiration. Then go to another window and search by Eagle logo. You will be amazed to see many Eagle logo, I always love to browse and get inspiration like this. Now take another window, and search W letter logo, and you will see many unique and creative logo here as well. I will suggest you to not copy, but inspired by them. Ok, after done some research, now let's jump into the photoshop or take your pen and paper to draw some idea. For me, I draw it on paper and now modifying with Photoshop for better look. Sketching will help you a lot, to generate new logo design ideas. That's great, after doing some modify, I come up with this sketches, select the sketches and set the opacity 50%. Then lock the image and create a new layer. Then go to the preference, general, and then guide and grids. And here set the color light red. Now press Ctrl and R, to activate ruler. Then take a guide and set here. Do that again. Take rectangular shape and draw it here to understand the space between the guide. Copy the line and paste it down. Do the same thing here as well. Now delete the shape. And draw a rectangle here. Set the opacity 50%. Then copy it to the down by pressing Alt from the keyboard. Now take line segment tool and draw a line here. Select this two shape and the line, then take the shape builder and minus it. Now select this two shape again, copy it, and then reflect it to 90 degrees. Select this upper shape, go to the transform panel, 
and rotate it minus 60 degrees. Now place this shape here. With direct selection tool, extend the anchor point just like me. Then select this four shape, and minus the outer part by shape builder tool. And then unite all the shape into one shape by pathfinder tool. That's great. One of the part of our logo is done, now let's work on this circle apart. To do that take the ellipse tool and draw a circle here like me. Try to adjust with the curve. Now let's draw the smaller circle. We will create the smaller circle inside this 3 guide, and it will be perfectly match. Select this two circle, and with shape, builder tool, minus the smaller circle part. Ok, now select this two main shape and unite it from the pathfinder tool. Set the opacity 50% again. Now we will work on this down part, to do that take pen tool and start create line like me. Unite the shape again, with the pathfinder tool. Take the line segment tool and create a line here to cut off this part. That's great, our shape is almost done. Take the direct selection tool and start select this anchor point together. We will make the corner rounded. It will give us a better look into the logo. Now select all the shape and swap it fill to stroke. And create a line here by pen tool. Go to stroke panel and set the stroke size 7 points. And then go to object and expand it. This extra shape we can remove, by create a shape over it, and minus it with shape builder tool. That's perfect, our shape is ready. Just select all the shape and unite it from the pathfinder tool. Ok, now let's color our logo with gradient. Let me show you how to make the gradient. First make a rectangular shape and then go to the gradient panel. Click one part, then with eyedropper tool take this color. Do the same on the other part as well. Now select the logo, and with eyedropper tool pick the gradient color. This is the end of the video, if you like this video and want more, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, if you have any question let me know on the comment section, I will help you for sure, thank you very much for watching, have a great day.